Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to solve this problem, reverse a linked list from the SDE sheet. So the problem states that you'll be given a linked list and you simply need to reverse it. Like over here, you're given a linked list as one, two, three, four, five, then five points to null. So you need to reverse it. Basically five, four, three, two, one, and then to null. Now remember, whenever they say that they will give you a linked list, it means that they will only give you the head of the linked list. So currently, we only have the head of the linked list, that is the one, and we have this entire linked list, and we need to reverse it to have a result something like this. So if you carefully observe, the only change that we are doing is, we are basically trying to reverse these arrows. Like the arrows are pointed towards the right words and over here the arrows are pointed towards the left word and the other change is the last element is pointing towards null over here the first element will be pointing towards null so these are the changes that we need to do so to solve such problems what we do is we initially create a dummy node that is assigned to null so at first we observe that the head node is pointing towards null so what we do is we create a dummy node let's call it as d and assign it to null now on our first iteration what we do is we create a next node and point it to the immediate next node of the head so that is 2 so our next node now stands at 2 after this what we do is we break this head next basically we break this next and we take that next and point it to the dummy node that is null so in doing so what we are doing is we are being able to point the head node to the null that was our first objective so our first objective is complete after that what we do is we take this dummy node and point it to the head and once we have done that we are going to take this head and we are going to point this to our next basically two and once we are done with this we are going to do our second iteration and in our second iteration what is our task we have to initialize this pointer basically two pointing to one so what we can do is we can simply take this next and now point it to the immediate next of two that is over here and once we have done this what we need to do is we need to point two's next to one so what we can do is we can again break the pointer and this two's next is gonna point to one so we simply point it and once this is done what i can say is this one is also done so our second iterations motive is over and we are gonna take our dummy node and place it at head and after that we are going to take this head and point it to the next over here so what is our third objective the third objective is to have this three pointed to this two so what we can say is again the similar thing at first we are going to take our next and point it to four the reason we do is we are going to break this node at the next junction after this we break this node and what we do is we mark the next of head to our dummy node that is assigned to 2 and once this is done again this task is very simple we take the dummy node and point it to head and we take the head and point it to the next and once this is done the task is very simple and once this is done the task is very simple we take the dummy node over here and we take the head node and point it to the next so again we can say that the objective of the third iteration is complete so let's do our fourth iteration so what's the objective of our fourth iteration to point four to three again we are going to do the same thing we are going to take our next node and point it to five after this we are going to take our head nodes next and point it to over here after this we are going to break this node and to break this node it's very simple heads next will be pointing to our dummy node and once this is done what i can say is our fourth objective is also complete after this, we are going to take our dummy node and point it to the head that is at the fourth node. And we are going to take this head and point it to the next. Once we are done with this, we are left with one more objective that is pointing five to four. So what we do is we do the fifth iteration. So we are going to take the next and point it to the next of the five that is null. After that, we are going to break this node and we are going to point heads next to the dummy node. So once this is done, I can again say that our fifth objective is complete. After this, we are going to take our dummy node and point it to the five. And we are going to take our head node. And this is going to go at the next. So what I can say is, once our head reaches null, 
we can see the transformation now 5 is pointing to 4 then 4 is pointing to 3 then 3 is pointing to 2 and 2 is pointing to 1 and 1 is pointing to the null so what is our current head we can say that the current head will be our dummy node so we are going to simply return the dummy node which will be our answer so if i talk about the time complexity it's big of n because we took exactly n nodes to traverse to perform n objectives because this was the first objective second objective third objective fourth objective and fifth objective so what is the space complexity it's big of one because we reversed the given link list only we did not use any external link list after this we are going to discuss the c plus plus as well as the java solution in the c plus plus solution we can see that initially we assign our dummy node that is new head to null and after that we know we are going to traverse till our head is not equal to null so what we do is at first we take our next and point it to the immediate next of head what was the next step we always pointed our heads next basically broke the link and pointed it to the dummy node so heads next is going to point to the dummy node new head once we are done with this our dummy node will move to the head and our head was going to move to the next this is what we always did in one iteration so we are going to do it for n iterations once we have done that we saw that our dummy node was our head of the new link list so we are going to return that so now it's time for the java solution so in the java solution at first we initialize the dummy node to null so over here i have assigned dummy node to be new head and we know one thing we are going to iterate till our head was not reaching null so what did we do in every iteration at first we took the next and pointed it to the immediate next of head what was the next step we broke the next pointer of head and pointed it to the dummy node so we do it over here after that we move our dummy node to head once we have done that what we do is we move our head to next so we are going to do this iteration for n times till head doesn't reach us null now once head reaches null we know that our dummy node is gonna be our head of the new reverse link list so that is what we are gonna return